Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So today we're looking at some errors that I've made in some of the very range calculation videos that I've done and we're going to correct them. Thank you for the chap who spotted this, it's much appreciated and this is exactly why I show all of my workings out because me being me, I'm going to make mistakes and um, so you guys can spot them and we'll correct them. The error is that we have now started varying the altitude at which we do our uh, our tests. It's always been Angels 32 and a half ASL, and because of inefficiencies, believed inefficiencies with the attack aircraft like Harrier, Hog, uh, F5E, uh, not inefficiencies, um, optimization issues, i.e., they're optimized to fly lower. That's what I'm trying to say. We we are testing the attack planes at a lower angels and this has caused some uh, inaccuracies in the data because i've done them all based on kias that is indicated airspeed in knots and then when i've converted that to ground speed i've used for all of these the ground speed in miles per hour at angels 32 and a half so even these ones i did at angels 20 i did the ground speed in miles per hour used the ground speed in miles per hour associated associated with angels 32 and a half remember the relationship between ground speed whatever unit it is ground speed to ias in this case kias is altitude dependent so what we're going to do here is hopefully i don't mess anything up here we're going to try and insert something here that looked okay we're going to next have it so that this is for 32,000. Uh, feet and this one here is going to be for 20,000 feet that is true again and we're just going to punk some lines up there we get all this correction done and then uh, this will change the results here so I'm going to go back now I'm going to work out the conversion between KIAS at 20k there at ISA parameters uh, four miles per hour ground speed stand by Okay, the data is in. So for 32,000, if I just bias them over there, whoops, didn't mean to do that. So for 32,000, that is the ground speed miles per hour. For 20,000, that is the ground speed miles per hour. Uh, I hope you agree with those figures. And it's massively different. So this is going to upset the FIV, the A10C, and the AV8B low altitude. Now, I thought they were looking a bit good, or at least the A10C and the FIV, I thought they were looking a bit too good. I mean, would you really think an FIV could outrange, for instance, a Hornet? It just didn't sound right, did it? So we're probably about to see that we're about to uh, put this back into more realistic measure so what we need to do now is redo all of these calculations that that and all of them now uh, to the new ground speed miles per hour as is relevant to the angels of 20,000 ASL so I'm not going to show all the working out you can hopefully follow pretty easily in fact I'll just do a few and then um, you can just see the method so I'm going to delete all of them there I'm going to delete all of them there, AGS is still Angels 32. I've got to redo that yet. Delete all of them there. So I'm going to do this one here for a start. We've got the AV8B uh, 20k. So that is there. If we go to there, that is 96 pounds per minute. So if we go 96 times uh, concentrate brain uh, 60 that many pounds per hour divided by 311 miles per hour ground speed gives us a wow that's a lot of burn rate that's 18.521 one pounds per mile so it's going to make these really inefficient unfortunately but that's just how it is um, can't argue about it so next um, and I'll do next an A10C just to show that so if I first A10C is here, no, sorry, is here, 2,140 pounds per hour at 273 miles so per hour, so 2140 divided by, uh, what is it, 273 gives 7.839, so that is 7.839 there. Uh, so that's quite a lot less than it was. And I'll just show you doing an F5 as well. We get this one here, there. Uh, we're going to go 3160 pounds per hour for both engines divided by 349 um, equals 9.054 
9.054 pounds for every mile. Uh, I'm just going to go and repeat that now and uh, occupy the cells here. Okay, the new data is in. So for the AV8B at 20,000 feet, the optimal was that there. Put that in there. It's 14.37 pounds per mile. So if we go to that one there, it's going to be pretty shit. 14.37. Ah, so what we've seen here, we'll just put that to show that it's been changed. So it's gone from 11.52 to 9.52 or thereabouts. So it is actually less range than it got at 30,000 feet, uh, which to me actually sounds a bit more realistic. So assuming I've done all that right, it turns out that it's just a really inefficient aircraft. Now a lot of you have been telling me the inefficiency is there due to the nozzles. I still don't fully understand that, why some redirecting ducts would make it so inefficient. If you guys care to elaborate what, what on that, is it thermal inefficiency? Well, if so, a, a normal, uh, a traditional back rear facing jet pipe would get hot anyway, so I don't see where the efficient capacity comes from, but that's just my lack of understanding, I imagine. Um, let's do the new A10C we've got here. It now has a new optimal of 7.84. 7.84. And that's, so it's down to 2000, still nearly 2,700 miles. Nautical um, miles, not nautical miles. The various conversions will be done between nautical miles and miles, obviously. Uh, what colour is it in that colour there? Sweet. That was good. Let's try that again. So that's gone down significantly, and the F5 is going to go down to something more realistic as well. So it's now optimal of 7.16 pounds per mile. 7.16 pounds per mile. We've gone down from 1470 to 1080, which does sound a bit better to me. Uh, and that's it there. So, right, fixed. Hopefully, I'm going to save that as Rev 1, and any other aeroplanes that we do at 20k, we will show them. Uh, as we've got here with the correct conversions. Uh, keep your eyes just to make sure I don't do anything else wrong. I hope that was kind of interesting and see you later.